Hi, Mario. Here at uh, after the press conference at uh, Farnroy Air Show, yeah. you announced uh, letters of intent for 250 turboprops. Correct. You have been busy in the recent months, then. Uh, I'd say a bit longer than recent months, but we've been talking to airlines over the last couple of years, and uh, I must say there's a lot of traction um, on the time. There's a, there's a real interest in that segment to find something that's more sustainable, has a much better, better passenger appeal, both from a product perspective, from a noise and from a vibration perspective. So I believe the, the, the market is really looking forward to have something new in that segment. Uh, it will offer a 25 to 30% lower fuel burn than a jet operation in that same segment. Uh, and it will be a, offer a vastly different uh, experience for the customer um, in that segment as well. So, and that's evidenced by the fact that we have uh, significant customer interest, not lessors, but really Airlines. airline interest in the aircraft. So, and are they really prepared and going to sign a firm commitment, a firm order when you launch the project next year? We would love to go to the uh, to the market, of course, to launch a program with launch customers. Uh, and we're obviously going to talk to the customers that we have LOIs with at this point. The number is steadily growing, which at 250 plus, we can't share the actual number. Uh, but we're uh, we're very confident that uh, airlines do want to push it forward. To, uh, Where to in the world is the most interest? The US is a key market for you, but US is Asia a key as market. well. Yeah, US is a key market for the 50-seater segment, so there's a lot of 50-seater aircraft today that are aging. There's no replacement, replacement alternative, and the TP-70 offers the potential to have a three-class interior with 50 seats um, to fly that segment, so there's a lot of interest there. There's a lot of interest from Asia in the 90-seater, so Asia is looking for a bigger turboprop within the same sustainability and, and cost. Um, brackets that they have for the current turboprops so pushing the seat cost down with a slightly bigger turboprop there's a lot of interest there as well and uh, does it make your choice which version to launch first more difficult or is there an even split between the preference of the smaller and the bigger one i think at this point there's a quite even split so it's really uh, depending on what airlines really want to move forward with us we'll take that also into consideration in the uh, in the order of launch so uh, watch the space and then probably Paris next year, a launch? That's the plan. Thanks. Thank you.